What is going on, geeks? Unite the Clans here, back in your life with episode three of our week away at the Rusty Lake Hotel. The previous two missions have been given us to us, I think, by this guy, Mr. Crow. Go and see if you can help the guests in their rooms. Okay, so maybe we do get a f some freedom, some choice. We've had some phone calls. No? So far it's told us basically which room to go into. What do you need tonight? Some fresh meat for tomorrow, no problem. Yeah, I guess it's getting easier to cook because there's fewer people to cook for. We got the kitty. We got the mushrooms out of that guy. Let's go see if I can't... All the guests are gone. Okay. So we just free for all. Let's go have a look. Let's see if we can't wander upstairs and we'll wander into the room of one of these adorable guests. I say second floor, perhaps? Second floor was pretty fun last time. So let's wander up there. Do we do it? Let's do it. She wants us to draw her a bath, if I remember properly. Oh, and it's a stormy frickin' night, and she is bathing like the lovely princess she is. Hello! Get me some corn! You're bossy! Okay, so... I don't really know what this recipe requires. Maybe once I find the corn, it'll, uh... make it obvious. Here's another number puzzle. Okay, so we'll have to match up numbers and symbols, and that looks like some sort of lift or demolisher or what? Okay, yeah, there you go. So triangle equals weight. Okay, so that's a bird, a dead bird, with some sort of electrical hat on. Left side of the brain equals gray, right? So I don't know. But triangle plus... Uh, oh, this is gonna be easy. Triangle plus square equals four. And obviously, if these were the same number, they'd have the same symbol. So one's a one, one's a three. Squiggle plus twirly equals two. Oh, squirrely minus that. So if that's a one and a three, this is probably a four and a two. Something like that. So let's go... Oh no, look how many numbers there are. I'm not guessing this without a little more guidance. Okay. You can't leave until you've found some pigeon meat for dinner. Oh, that made a light bulb come on. Okay. This is clearly a the guide. So it's two, three, four, three, four, three, two, one. Whatever that means. Have a look at this. This is stumping me already. Usually, I get on a roll right away. I can't seem to do anything right here, so... Chandelier? Nothing? Nothing? Okay, what about this? So it doesn't have proper electricity. What is this thing, though? Wow. It's a rotating cube. Kinda cool. And, cha-ching! Is that all there is? You just rotate the cube? It's kind of cool. Kind of a neat idea. Oh, can I rearrange these? No, right. It works pretty well. Doesn't need my help. It works beautifully. And what are you? Left brain, right brain. Oh. Square plus triangle plus triangle equals five, which means square is one. Triangle is three. So square is one, plus the swirly, that makes the swirly eight, which means that S minus swirly equals two? That means that's a 10, which can't be. All right, we got the answer right here. Square plus triangle plus triangle equals five, which means that the square is the three. So three plus swirly equals nine, which makes that a six. So S minus swirly equals two which means the s is an eight the swirly is a six the triangle is a one and the square is a three i hope i got that eight six oh shoot one three did it UTC on fire. <gasps> it's a tiny bird about to be electrocuted, uh, but it's locked in there. 
get unlocked. Get unlocked. This isn't the right key. This key doesn't do what I think it does. So we just have to pull the lever. Maybe I release the lever. Oh, yes. Maybe, maybe this thing provides the power. Nope. Nope. I really don't know what it does. Hello. This is really creepy. I told you, this game's macabre. It's odd. It's strange. It's eerie. It's weird. So, left side of the brain has to equal square. Right side has to equal a hollow square. Whatever that means. Oh. I think... Yes! A piece of paper. Ah! Hmm. Alright, let's use our key on this little door. Get unlocked. What are you? Corn! Give me some corn. Okay, well, maybe we'll get the recipe properly if we do that. Have your corn, woman. She eats like such a bird. What are you gonna give me in exchange? Give me something in exchange. A key. Cha-ching. Cool. And then let's try putting this last piece of paper in this spinny wheel thing. Oh. Nope, I did it wrong. I think it goes here. So we have to find another piece of paper before we totally unlock this and have power running from this, which will run over the top, potentially into that side of its head, and then that one runs out to the left and maybe goes in through these. Still only one light bulb. Still can't do anything with this, but we now have a key, and the key might involve unlocking this cute little cutie. Get unlocked. Okay, we need another key, which we'll get by finding the last piece of the wheel, which might involve this. So nothing on 80. What about 90 FM? Hmm. Wonder what this is. Doesn't feel like a puzzle. Oh, oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. It's the same as the other thing. So we need to go... Right, UTC gonna be writing some stuff down here for a sec, guys. Two, three, four, three, four, three, two, one. Got it. Got it. That's clearly what this represents. And if we go find this radio, Maybe it'll give us that other piece of paper. Two. Three. Four. Three. Four. Three. Two. And one. And another key has emerged. Kind of cool. Okay, what you gonna do for me, little cutie, once I release ya? Once I set you free? Oh, it's so weak and broken. Weird. Can I just... No, okay, I've, I've released the, the creature? Where has it gone off to? Oh, it's ready to electrocute her for having electrocuted it. Brilliant, but we need to give it the skills to do so. So, oh, oh, I haven't seen this before. Oh, he's trying to cross? Where are you going, you little bastard? I have to trap him. Nope. Okay, you gotta block his path. Oh, I'm on fire. You're trapped. You're trapped, you little bugger. Now what? Now what? I thought I trapped him. Is this not it? Maybe I need to make sure he can't make any moves. 
Yes, you need to give him literally nowhere to go. I feel like I should just squash this little mother effer at this point. You're, you're as good as dead. You're completely dead, and you now belong to me, you stag beetle son of a bitch. How's the stag beetle gonna help this whole situation in any way? What about this requires a stag beetle? I really have no idea. Put him on this wheel. Make him run the wheel. Oh! It worked. We've created an electromagnet, which now powers this light bulb. Two of the three, so I just need to power that light bulb, which is... I don't know what. This. I need to find the last puzzle piece. I need to find the last puzzle piece. Okay. Which I'll find. Not here. This one's done. Not here. That's done. This I have yet to solve. Nope. I've got it. Electricity applied to the brain plus these numbers equals those numbers. So, something to do with this lamp, this window, this girl in this tub. Hmm. UGC's get slightly stumped here. So she just holds it down for me now, which is great because that lights this light. I need to find a way to light these mother effing light bulbs. I can't look up, so I don't know where those wires go. They must both go to the brain. So how do I get this thing? How do I get her out of her bath, maybe, and into... Or is this what's going to kill her? I need to find a way to slay this stupid creature and feed her to the other guests. Of which remain, what, a boar? And, uh... Alright. Uh, oh! That was easier than I thought. You just gotta frick, idiot, looking around like a moron forever trying to find that thing. And have I just passed the wall where this thing is located? Yes, I have. Okay, put you here. Yes! Get spun around. Okay. It's permanently lit. It will not go out. It will not go out. That light is lit. Head over here. What's left? What's left? What's left? All three bulbs are lit. You're lit. Yup. You are so lit. This chick. This chickadee is about to get fried. Brazow. Blackberries and potatoes. Well, I haven't. Oh, here's all the damn recipes. Tomatoes with boar ribs and red wine. White wine, pheasant breast, and thyme. Completed that. Pigeon wing, blackberries, and potatoes. I guess I gotta click continue. A new dawn. Looks like we're only getting one star on this particular batch of pigeon food. But I'm cool with it. Click to frickin' continue. The lobby. Who? Speak with me, sir. Are you sure you want to cook? I guess I could go back and try and get those things. But let's cook it. Screw it. Once I got it complete, I got it complete. I don't want to go messing around trying to get perfect scores and platinum trophies and whatnot. That ain't my jam. The third dinner. Let's see. I know what the review is going to be. The review is going to be a one out of three. Let's see how well you spell almost perfect. Pretty good. They're liking it. Good thing I garnished it with a little rocket there. Well done. One star. The night falls and the guests go to their rooms. Guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. We got one more quick key to grab. One more key to throw in to that mysterious box and head towards unlocking the last room, which I think might be that private room at the top of the stairs belonging to Mr. Owl. But for the time being, we have completed this one. We are five... Three down, two to go. Uh, that's it. I'm Unite the Clans Geeks. Thank you so much for watching day three at the Rusty Lok Hotel, and I will be back with you with day four in no time. Oh, hello, sir. Who have you decided to be? Hey, hello. 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 This is Detective Dale Vandermeer. Yeah? Yeah.